Hi, I'm Buzzin1, and this is just a little video to show off what the whole Brutal Legend real-time strategy thing actually looks like. So if you're thinking about buying Brutal Legend and you're curious as to what it's like to actually play the game's characteristic combination of 3D action and real-time strategy, then this video will show you. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what you see there, that thing that's exploding back there, is your merchandise booth. The merchandise booths are where you harvest your resources so you can build your units at your base. So your character's name's Eddie and he can fly. That's how you look around the battlefield to see what's happening. So there's the stage, which in this game is your base, and I'm already starting out with two merch booths on either side of it to harvest my resources. So the first thing I need to do is start building my army. When I hold down the right shoulder, it brings up this wheel menu where I can select which units I want to build. So right now I've got the basic infantry guys, ranged attackers, and medics to choose from. At the top of the wheel is the stage upgrade, and whenever you upgrade the stage, more units become available. So I'm going to choose some infantry and range and hang out here a while while they get built. Okay, so it looks like one unit is ready. So that light you can see on that worm thing, I'm controlling that light by holding down the left shoulder. That light's called a beacon and you set it wherever you want to on the field and then you hit left on the d-pad and your troops will go to the beacon. Okay, so there's my first infantry unit and they're ready to go. Toward the light! And as you can hear, I've just commanded them by hitting left on the D-pad toward that beacon I just set a minute ago. The light's shining, find it! The first range unit is out and I'm commanding them to the same position. Second infantry unit, again to the same position. Goes over that way. Now I'm selecting more units to build and as I fly up in the air here, you can see my people heading to that beacon I set a minute ago. Toward the light! All right, we're here. Get moving! Okay, so now we're going to check out what they're doing. So as far as that worm thing, it's feeding on a geyser. But the geysers are where I can harvest more resources, so I want to attack the worm so it'll fly off and I can build another merch booth on top of the geyser to harvest more resources. You can see my people are kind of attacking it. Okay, so that there is a view of the enemy's base, and you can see he's also got two harvesting stations on either side of his stage. Eventually I'm going to have to go attack all that stuff. Alright, so my people have cleared the worm, and so now I can build the merch booth. Now, in order to build the merch booth, I gotta play the merch booth guitar solo. Now, in order to play the merch booth guitar solo, you gotta hold the right trigger to bring up another wheel menu and then select the appropriate solo. The icon for this one looks like an erupting geyser. Once you've made the selection, you just follow the button prompts. Hey! You rock! Okay, so now off in the distance, you can see another worm thing that I want to attack to take over another resource geyser. And once again, I'm doing this because the more resources I harvest, the bigger the army I can build. So I'll set the beacon with the left shoulder and then command my troops toward it with left on the D-pad. Find the beacon and get yourselves there. Now here's some enemies. If I hit R3, I can drop down and fight them. So this is the 3D action part. Oh. That's oh. enough out of you. Oh, poor dead warrior. Yeah, I just killed her and her friends are running away. I don't know why someone's still trash talking. So I just randomly got hit by a projectile. I don't know where from. You can hear my heart beating, which means I'm about to die. This game's got regenerating health, so I'll just head back to the base to build some more units while I recover. Okay, so they liberated another geyser, so I'll play the solo again to build another merch booth to harvest more resources. So you're always kind of flying back and forth between your base and your front line as it advances on the enemy. The trick is you have to be in close range to your troops in order to command them where to go, so you can't just hang back at your base and do everything from there. Okay, so there's the enemy's resource harvesting tower. I'm setting a beacon on there and I'll command my people to go attack it. The light's shining, find it! The light marks the spot, go! On it! Here's the enemy trying to take over their own resource geyser, so I'm gonna try to fight them off. Here I died, but nothing really bad happens when you die, you just respawn back at your base. The outcome you want to avoid is the enemy destroying your base, but you can die as much as you want before that happens and it's fine. Alright, so that's a stage upgrade. Once that finishes, I'll have a wider range of troop categories to build.
Okay, so I'm going to check up on my people. They've encircled the resource tower and are attacking it. Show's over that way. All right, so now I set a beacon on the enemy stage and I'm having my people attack that. You can hear that alarm. It means the base is getting attacked. And now I can take over their geyser. So now I'm just going to hang out here and order my units to go attack that enemy base where I set that beacon. Move it. Let's see some hustle out there. Find the beacon and get yourselves there. Okay, now that I've got that stage upgrade, you can see on the menu below how I've got more units available to choose from if I want. So I'll choose this car that can shoot harpoons, but this is on the easy setting, so I probably won't even need it. Okay, so the enemy's not looking too good. You can see all the blood on their stage. And so now I'll hit R3 and drop down and help fight a bit. So you also get solos to help you with combat. This one's called a face melter, and as you can see, it does what the name implies. Sorry, was that a bit too intense? Just more on the ground combat. It looks like the end is nigh. And that's it. Pretty anticlimactic, wouldn't you say? I mean, I wasn't even really present when my troops finally brought down the enemy stage. Here's the thing, though. That was on the easy setting. When I played through the single-player campaign, I did it on normal difficulty, and for the most part, the battles lasted longer, and I would have to build different kinds of units and so on. But the same basic strategies like I showed here were effective. So does that look interesting? Would you want to fight RTS battles from a 3D perspective like this? Please let me know in the comments. So anyway, there you have Brutal Legend real-time strategy. This is what happens when you cross 3D action with real-time strategy. So if you were curious about what that looked like, then I hope this little walkthrough helped. If it did, then do me a favor and click that like button under this video. And if you want to know more about Brutal Legend, I also did a full review of it, so I'd encourage you to check that out if you're thinking about purchasing this game. Just click on the box you see on the screen. I'd also encourage you to have a look at my channel page. I got some other reviews of like 7th gen games on there that you can get from Steam and re-released PC formats, but I've also got some other stuff too that you might enjoy. It's kind of a hodgepodge, I guess. So click on that icon under this video of the enthusiastic looking dog in the circle if you're curious about that. And if you happen to visit the channel page and like what you see, consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, thanks so much for watching.